Hello guys and welcome to another awesome episode of Alberto Big Boost. Today I want to show you guys a sweet video of my newest sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. You ever get tired of having to go to the store for your grooming and personal care products? At this store there's too many options, you can't even tell the difference between any of them. If you have any questions, the clerk usually can't help you because he doesn't even know the difference between the racers or can't help you because they're not expert on these products. Now it's time to try out Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club is basically giving away their Daily Essential Starter Set to new members for only 5 bucks. This starter set features their exclusive heavy duty racer and 3 trial size version of their most popular products to help you stay fresh and clean. In your first box you will receive their Shave Butter, Body Wash, this actually looks pretty good, it's a uh, lav Amber Lavender Body Wash. I, can't, I wonder what this thing smells like. Oh, this smells, oh, this smells so good. I'm gonna try this tonight. And one wipe Charlie's butt wipes. You will also receive their executive racer, which includes their premium weighty handle and full cassette of cartridges. After the first box, replacement cartridges are served for only a few bucks a month. Guys, this offer is only exclusively available at dollarshaveclub.com slash bigboost. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash bigboost. Guys, Dollar Shave Club is really awesome for sponsoring my videos. Support Dollar Shave Club, that way it enables them to support my videos as well. That way I can provide some awesome content for you guys. Today I'm going to be talking about waste gates or in other words bypass valve or another word, diverter valve. It allows you to control the RPMs in the turbo, therefore adjusting the boost on the car. So this one right here, I'm gonna be installing on my car since the wastegate that on my, that's currently installed on my car went bad. I'll be installing a 45 millimeter Turbo Smart Hypergate wastegate. This one is like a very small diaphragm design, so it's pretty compact and unique. Um, a lot of the high horsepower guys trust this brand, so I decided to just go ahead and buy one so I'll have reliable boost pressure on my car because if you over boost, you definitely run the chances of blowing up your engine and I don't want that anymore. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about wastegates. This is a pretty simple design. So you have a piston inside and you have this housing. So pretty much it seals the bottom. This side goes to the exhaust side on the manifold and this part is the one that exhaust comes out of. So, wastegate closed, all the exhaust goes through the turbo, wastegate starts to open, it will start to divert some of the exhaust gases out into the atmosphere or back into the outlet part of the exhaust, and then it will reduce the turbo spool. This wastegate in particular is a 14 psi spring pressure set already default from TurboSmart. So, I have in here two 7 psi springs. So, you have 7 psi spring and another one, so it's 14. So that means that you'll need to push on the lower diaphragm 14 psi of air equals boost to open the valve. So until it doesn't see 14 psi on the, underneath the spring and make the piston go up, it will not open. You can also adjust boost pressure by putting a boost controller which will limit the amount of air that goes from the com between the compressor and the wastegate. Therefore, like tricking the, the wastegate into not seeing 14 psi of boost onto the desired boost pressure programmed by either the manual boost controller or electronic boost controller is achieved. Guys, now I'm going to assemble the wastegate with the supply fittings and hardware. So I have two vacuum port fittings and then I have a cap. This wastegate comes with four holes, so two on, on the bottom and two on the top. That way allows you to choose which side you wanna put the vacuum port on. So in this case, there's already comes cap on the side that I'm not gonna use, so I have to use the other cap bolt and put it on this side. Then I'm gonna put both vacuum ports on the other side, which are gonna be facing the same direction. One is on the bottom to push the piston up, and it has a top port which is to push the piston down and control boost when you want to run more boost than 50% more of spring pressure. Now I'm going to use Permatex high temperature thread sealant on these fittings so they have a tight fit and also this product I use it on everything you get especially on high heat applications like this wastegate right here. 
I'm gonna apply some thread sealant on this plug. Then I'm gonna put it on this side of the wastegate. Now I'm going to apply some thread sealant on the vacuum ports. I couldn't find my 8mm wrench, so I'm gonna have to use an adjustable, but it'll get the job done. Then I'll apply a little bit of thread sealant to the top plug. To, I mean, I'll apply some thread sealant to the top backing port. Here's my current wastegate setup. My wastegate is installed directly on the turbo housing to achieve optimal boost control. Here's my wastegate setup. It's installed directly on the turbo housing and also on the angle. Since so my exhaust manifold is pretty much facing this way, it will have to hit the wastegate and then spin around the turbo. This way it can achieve maximum boost control. But with this wastegate, I'm having an issue with the diaphragm that is getting like stuck and it's not controlling the boost very accurately. So sometimes I'm having more boost and sometimes I'm having less boost. So I'm gonna take care of it and put on a new wastegate from a known racing brand. Now let's go ahead and start by removing this wastegate. Uh, since I'm no, no longer be using this fitting because it's different on the other wastegate, I'm gonna just cut this hose and then put it on the new wastegate. Then, now I get to undo the clamp on the wastegate flange and the whole thing will come off. The clamp is a little stuck so you can use a flat head to like pry it out. Here we go. I have both wastegates out, so you can appreciate the difference between both of them. They both do the same job. This one's turbo smart, this one's tile. This tile wastegate is a 44 millimeter wastegate valve. This turbo smart, even though it's smaller, offers a 45 millimeter wastegate valve. They both share the same flanges, so you can interchange all the flanges, inlet and outlet are interchangeable, so you don't have to modify or get a different manifold or, or tubing done to exchange from either one. That's pretty convenient. Um, one highlight that I do like from the one highlight that I do like from the tile wastegate is that it has these banjo style fittings, so it's a, you can rotate them or whatever, whatever you want. The Turbo Smart is a little bit simpler, but it uses NPT thread fittings, which you have you have to use thread sealant and they're straight unless you get like a push-on style fitting which a lot of the drag racing guys do but um, it's a little bit more expensive so I'm not gonna go that way yet. Flanges, I kind of like the flanges on the Turbo Smart a little bit more since they have a... Uh, where is it? They have this hexagonal part which holds it not in place so you don't have to use an allen key and a wrench on the other side to hold the knot in place like you have to do on the tile so it makes installation and service a little bit easier the tile is water cooled diaphragm so it offers a diaphragm where you can put water cooling for when you're doing endurance racing like like rally or like time attack and stuff like that where you're gonna be running the car a few laps the waste might get hot and then it start causing friction so the water cooled diaphragm is pretty much one of the plus signs this one i don't i don't know why they don't offer it i think they have a new one that offers water cool diaphragm but for drifting you're not gonna be running for more than like a whole minute so i think it should be fine all for stainless steel housings and then also stainless steel valves very important about vinyl quality waste case that all the tolerances and and heat treating and everything on these valves are made to perform so you won't have a valve that gets stuck this one also offers a 
like nice like clamp that holds everything together so it has a kind of like a tool like a coil over tool and then the tile one has a bunch of little allen bolts so i think when you're going to replace springs this one is a lot easier and simpler if you want to just do a quick spring change another part that's important on the wastegate that you make sure that you don't forget to install is the valve seat this part sits against the manifold and then seals on the valve like the same thing as the intake or exhaust valves on your engine it has one on this that's removable you make sure you put it on before installing the gate that's part one out of two that consists of this video it's a pretty long install i'm trying to cover a lot of ground over here so you guys get to understand how these parts work so tomorrow i'll provide with a second part installing the wastegate i'm taking the car for testing and i also finally 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 start working on the bodywork on my car so i can get it ready for vinyl at the end of this month please smash the like button and subscribe i'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully i'm really sorry I, i've been like really sucking on posting videos on a daily basis it's really hard i've been doing a lot of things at the same time but i've been building a bunch of things so i can make this happen it's just like i need more me's i should get more me so i can do more things anyways i'll see you guys tomorrow i promise guys thank you guys for watching i'm out